Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and a happy new year to everybody here. Uh, today, I've managed to get out and about and I'm here uh, in High Wycombe at a home building site, house building site with this machine. This is the 245 um, from JCB and the model is the XR model, brand new model launched last year. You might find you can see something about this machine that's slightly different. So if you look over here uh, and eagle eyed people will see the Leica Geosystems receivers for 3D machine control. And if you look over here, there we are, nearly there, you might see an Encon tilt rotator with their EC oil function. So what do we have here? The latest 3D machine control, MC1 machine control system from Leica Geosystems. That's a system that you can literally take the tablet out of this machine, put it in another machine. You can even put it in another type of machine like a dozer. And you have the very latest Encon tilt rotator. But the big story here is the first time this has all been combined in the brand new 245 from JCB. Obviously, we've got new um, Encon joysticks inside there. But what's really interesting, I've been here this morning looking at this machine. There is a difference with the 245 from previous 220 model, and that is it's a reduced tail swing. Now, we're on a really, really tight site here. There's things uh, using the road outside here, uh, whereby the machine is in a really tight, confined space. I've been taking pictures with railings very, very close to it. And so fundamentally, this is a big machine. The power is needed to do the work on site here. And but it can be used within this confined space. And of course, not tracking up and down because you've got the tilt rotator function. So really, this is a future way forward, I think, for house builders looking to actually have not just a small or a mini excavator on site, a big machine that can do a lot of work like this 245. Not only that, if you've got a big machine of this size, you're obviously doing a lot of the work and the tasks that you need a big machine and a small machine for if you're using the tilt rotators to get in all those tight angles. So that means you've got less machines on site. With this as well, you've got a load of new features. The, the, um, the latest hydraulic technology from JCB is inside this machine. It's a stage five engine, so you can use HVO fuel with it. Also, the visibility from the cab is really, really good. Inside there, when the operator opened it up and I talked to him earlier, there was a waft of heat coming through there. It's very cold here today. So full air conditioning, full setup there. And it feels like a really comfortable cab. I'm not sure what JCB call the cab spec, but this is the, the, the big cab spec in that machine, even though it's been reduced in size. So the capabilities of this machine have been, some, have been really enhanced, not just the from all the, the added extras, like the Leica Geosystems 3D Machine Control, the Encon, they've been enhanced with the hydraulics. The fuel consumption has been reduced. They've got different modes inside the machine as well. <clears throat> and, and fundamentally, we've got the latest generation of everything that JCB have put in here. When you read up about this machine and you can Google it and, and they've got a, the, the good details on the JCB website, they're saying with the hydraulics, four years in the making to develop the hydraulics that now are in this machine. And obviously, with that hydraulic efficiency and power, you can then operate tilt rotators and other attachments on it. And when you look at the actual development of the excavator range, uh, you, you're looking at this uh, being a machine that's very much focused on uh, all sorts of different applications. I was surprised to see it here today in such a combined space, but I understand now why the Waldrees Group have actually brought that together. And what I really uh, am interested in seeing is how more people can look at this type of machine from JCB and see, actually, yes, we can make some changes to the way we do things. And I think for me, this is what I call uh, in 2022, a future tour stop. So I'm here um, with the, on the site looking at what is happening in the future. And I'll be doing a lot of this sort of stuff in 2022. So when you look at all of these different elements that come together, one thing that really stands out for me is carbon reduction. 
you know, we are on this road to net zero. We've had Glasgow, COP26, all of those things. We now have to actually do stuff, folks, to reduce the carbon impact. So if you can combine all the things like the Waldridge have done here today, the latest technology with the latest attachments, with 3D machine control, you dig once, you dig well, you dig right. So in other words, you can shape different models to 3D, so you can change the whole design of a site. You can actually deliver really complex structures, earthwork structures, when you've got a tilt rotator combined with the co-pilot of Leica Geosystems, because all of that works in a 3D sense. And so the operator can achieve more, uh, therefore we're doing more for less. And also we're doing our work for the environment and our impact on the environment. Now, I was on a site um, yesterday with HS2, uh, AKFB, and they are super focused on carbon reduction and data from this machine. Now we can get the data in and out from this machine, not just through the machine control that's going back and, and sending as built data to the client here, but also through the JCB Live Link system that is connected this asset into many more assets that they look after as well. And all of the data and things that they're collecting looks at how we can be more efficient. So it's a happy new year from me. Um, this is my first future tour stop of the year. And I really am looking out for the things that people are doing differently and also how we are transitioning what we used to see as a 3D machine control on, say, National Highways and HS2 projects into house building situations like this so that we can bring all of the technologies across the industry. You know, and people like Waldry should be commended for, for taking this all on board. JCV actually gave them one of the units to test. And so they were really impressed with it. And, and, and in this case, in many other cases, it was the operator's decision whether they wanted uh, to have this JCV machine or you know, whether they were going to look at uh, other machines. That, but they were happy after a demo with this machine. And that speaks volumes. Also, we have to recognize that we have to keep our operator community happy. We have to keep them well and we have to keep them safe. And on the back of here, you've got a camera system as well, which obviously supports the operator, factory fitted that one. And, uh, and for me, it really is, who is the, the person that actually makes the buying decisions? It's not just the MD, it's not just the purchasing manager, it's not just, those people. it's the operator. And why is that important? Well, if you want to keep your operators happy, if you want to keep bringing new people into the industry, you've got to have the machines that they're happy to operate uh, and drive in. And that's exactly what Rooldridge are doing here. And they couldn't be happier, uh, the, happier the operator uh, the, in this machine. So enough for me, for my first future tour stop of the year. I am super excited about it, uh, as you can see. And there'll be more from me coming soon. And until the next time, folks, Keep safe out there and look after yourselves. And uh, I'll be back with more uh, about this machine in an interview with the operator as well uh, in coming weeks. Thanks very much for listening. Goodbye.